Guys, let's go! It is time for the round of eight match here. We've got Zest coming in for a very early probe house on Uthermal. This is one of his very first probes. Zest has started doing this in about half of his games, and it's why Proxy Racks and a lot of one base all-ins are really bad against Zest. About half of his games, he will send one of his very first probes across the map to harass you, Uthermal! He's playing on the Korean server. He needs to repair that SCV, even for just a second, and then it can withstand one probe hit. So notice he repairs it a little bit there, and now it's no longer down on five hit points. Zest being a ch bit of a Chad gamer here. Does occupy some mining time. May have delayed the barracks slightly as well by doing this. Oh, is he gonna go for it? He goes, does not, does not get the hit, pulls out. He's trying to bait him into pulling all of his SCVs. So Uthermal doesn't bite the bait. Core is going down before Nexus here for Zest. Put a pylon down there on the low ground as well. And the probe comes down. Now, it's a bit too early to be blocking for that command center. You can see, yeah, Zest blocking a bit too early this game. So, Uthermal going to be able to get that command center down. Does spot the Marine first. It is Marine into Reactor from Uthermal. So, the idea behind the Reactor there is quick Marine production. He's going to be safe with lots of Marines. Might get a bunker as well. This is Uthermal's only scout this game so far. He's just checking to see if he's being proxied down here. These are common proxy gateway locations. And then he'll go into non-stop Marine production. Now, that Reactor... Of course, sometimes you'll see people go much faster factory about 20 seconds ago and build the reactor only after the factory starts. But you're a bit more vulnerable in that scenario. And oh, he checks here, but look at that. Proxy pylon right there. He just barely missed it. Thank you, Arminius. Appreciate the love, mate. Oh, big thank you, uh, Joshua Taylor, to the, the, the marriage. Congrats. Um, yeah. Thank you, mate. And, ooh, okay, so this is Nexus into a depth pressure, into second gateway, third gateway. Guys, this is kind of like a Parting's build, but it's not going to hit nearly as fast because he's done a normal 20 core 20 Nexus. So he hasn't rushed for it nearly as early as he does. Arminius with the three-month resub. Much love, mate. Ooh, Marine's coming on forward here. Oh, 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 good interception from you, Thermal. He gets one. Oh, and he actually completes that. Yeah, SCVs can surround him. Oh, run mule, run mule, run mule. Oh, it's a freshie. That's a freshie. Oh, that's a big snipe for Zest. Gets a fresh mule and gets the adept out. No, he does lose two adepts. So I think that's still a worthwhile trade for you, Thermal, having killed two of those adepts. Little does he know, though. Warp gate's finishing. Three more adepts about to warp in. So four adepts are going to join. This could still get out of control. Uthermal's trying to build more marines, but he split his marines because he's worried about an oracle. He cannot afford to lose these marines for free. Stalkers even, and no bunker. Oh, no bunker. I think I think Zest is doing this build because he knows Uthermal likes to skip the bunker, and these stalkers are just going to ruin him. This is going to be an absolute ruining. I mean, the stalkers, before Stim's done, there's just nothing you can do on flat ground here with Marines versus Stalkers. If the Stalkers are microed as well as Zest does it, he gets the ability. Look at that. Move, shoot, move, shoot. Doesn't really care about losing the Adept. And he's already killed six SCVs. And look at the way he focus fires on the Marines. For those... Oh, look at that. Even more Stalkers. That's GG. A lovely three-gate attack there from Zest. Gets game one. So that's a 19 Nexus, guys. So I think you might be looking for the same sort of attack. Uh, guys, going into game two, Zest here going 19 Nexus and not really scouting. He just checked out there, but nowhere else. Meanwhile, Uthermal does go for a scout and he's going for a Marine into Reactor Expand one more time. So Uthermal, very focused on a certain sort of opening here. Second gas for Zest. Now keep an eye on this. He did actually delay Warp Gate a little bit because he didn't have enough gas by the looks of it. It's interesting. Interesting. Let's see if he goes for some sort of, uh pressure again. Double Adept coming out. Feels like that second gas is pretty late. It's not going to be the fastest tech from Zest. Now, here's a ramp this time, so Uthermal can defend here with Marines. But you should always pull this Marine back just in case they get a very quick Adept over. So this is a big mistake for Uthermal. You, you're always meant to pull back, group up with three Marines, and then pull back. Slow reaction from Uthermal. This is a huge mistake for him. Two Marines can't beat an Adept on their own. So he's already damaged it, thankfully. So maybe he can do it. But you want to keep those three Marines together. It's a much more effective battle for you as the Terran player. Now on the plus side, he is building a proxy factory. So he's going to do a three Hellion drop, most likely. We expect to see a Hellion start up. Oh, he's all inning. 
Oh, you thermal's doing the dumbass all in. He's doing my favorite dumbass all in, guys. I've tried this on Zest. I've, I've literally tried this on Zest one game. Obviously, Zest schooled me because he's infinitely better than me. But this is actually a cool, cool twist. He tried 3x the previous game. Zest, Zest knew that as well, right? He got to kill it. This time, it looks the same, but he's actually going to build tanks, maybe one medevac, and then probably Vikings or Libs, and he's just going to go all in. Unfortunately, there's a DT shrine. So I think Zest's build just beats his build. Now, um, one thing that you guys want to take into account is if you know a build as a Terran player in a tournament, especially if you're playing pro level, uh, if you know a build that beats DT drop, do it on this map. Um, pro Protoss players uh, have actually hit, I think, almost 50% of recent games I've cast on this map, maybe even over 50% now, have been DT drop. It's it's, it's pretty 50-50 between that and 4-gate blink. Like, DT drop is so commonplace on Oxide that it is becoming very predictable. And I'm just waiting for Terrans to, to kind of clue onto this and start blind countering it. I mean, I guess that's maybe why we see so much early Raven opening on this map, actually, now that I think about it. Now, that Prism's going to come across the map. The Marines are moving on out. And then we've got factory tanks, medevacs on the way. We'll see what's happening. I've got the prism on the left side as well. Okay. SCV's coming. He's going to build bunkers as well. Zest still has no idea, but he doesn't have a turret and he's only got one scan. So I think he's just dead, guys. Yeah, I don't think you thermal could possibly win this game. Oh, man. Battery overcharge. One adept stands strong and says no. No to the evil Terran Imperium. Oh shit, the battery goes down. She disappears in the blink of an eye. Unfortunately, on the other side, the DTs are going ham. That SCV quivering in fear. And there's just no answer to it. Uses a scan to kill one DT. Does depower two gateways. Wait. Wait, can he win a base trade? Oh, he might be able to win a base trade, guys. Oh, he's rallying Marines on the outside. Yeah, because he's, he's still got scans available. He's depowered all the gateways. How many? Oh, four DTs. The, the, the fourth DT warped in just before this went down. But guess what? It's a base trade, and as long as he lifts the orbitals, and he's got two scans. Now, the, the trick for Zet, oh, look at that, he's trying to build an eBay as well. The probes are trying to kill the eBay. Oh, this is hilarious. They can't kill it, they're gonna run away. Now, actually, he's trapped in here. You don't even need to open that up, you thermal. Just try and kill, oh, look, he's trying to mine gas. Oh, he's repowered it. You gotta depower, depower, depower. He's gotta depower the gateways, guys. Depower the gateways, don't let him mine any gas. Now, he recalls over there. Uh oh, DT's killing some more SCVs. Pull the Marine in. He's building a turret inside Zest's base. You gotta watch out, you thermal. There comes a DT. Oh, his command centers are lifted right now. One's being blocked. He can't land it because there's a DT following it. If Zest Micro is that DT under that orbital, he won't be able to scan. But it lands, it lands, it lands, it lands. Where's the DT? Where's the DT? It's over there at the third, though. It's, it's gonna burn. Oh, he lifts it just in time before it starts burning. He can land the other one, though. There's no DT on that one. Guys, this is absolute chaos right now. There's a turret in the natural. But he's not able to do damage over at this base. The Viking is there. That can chase off the warp prism. If he can chase off the prism, that'll be big. You thermals, gotta watch out though, because battery overcharge exists. He's trying to rebuild probes of zest right now. He's, he's making an Archon. So he's gonna say battery overcharge Archon. Tanks are pretty good, but with battery overcharge, I think I think Zest can take this fight. I think Zest can take this fight, guys. Uh-oh, the Marines are going down to the tanks. The SCVs are trying to pull in here. No battery overcharge. Why is he not battery overcharged? He lost the Archon that was morphing. This Archon, though, picking off a lot of units, man. The splash damage on it, he gets another Marine kill. The battery overcharge is there. It could... Oh, pull back, pull back, pull back! He's got to get it back in overcharge range. He does take out the Viking as well. Oh, my God! One Archon says no, Dirty Terran! No! But battery overcharge is gone. And with battery overcharge being gone, he might be going down, guys. This is his last mining base. Remember, the DT shrine's here, but he has no gas mine. He can't make DTs. He warps in a stalker. He's only got one gateway powered right now. DT in the rear. DT in the rear with the gear. DT in the rear with the gear. He gets a tank. He gets a second tank. Can he get number three? No, he cannot. SCV, get repairing, boy. That arc on that stalker, that prism and these probes. I think they can beat this now. He's going to repair that. The Vikings deep in the red, guys. Every single unit counts right now. This one is down to the wire. Oh, my Lord. Tank Marine SCV doing what they can. But that Archon is regening its shields. And if that Archon gets to full life, it can take on this many units. The Medivac's out of juice. The tank kind of needs to siege these units from afar. Where's the Viking at? The Viking went down, guys. With the Viking gone, the prism can just drop the Archon and stalker on top of the tank. Kill the Marines and he'll be good. 
And he's, he's repaired up as much as he can. Oh, Mills! He's got Mills! He can repair the tank more now, guys! He's gonna pull back. He's gonna pull back. Oh, a recall into the main. Very cute from Zest. He recalls into the main, and that allows him to get back on gas mining. If he get enough gas, he can warp in a DT. Oh, Zest! If he get his shield battery, but he doesn't have one. And he's, he's trying to do some hot pickups. He gets rid of some SCVs. The Marines and the tank trying to push in here. He's chronoing that gateway. The Archon's almost completely out of shields, guys. But Uthermal's almost out of units. And another Stalker warping in. I think he's done it. I think, especially if Zest just pulls probes, he can he can hold this army, and then he can shoot down that medevac. He has actually managed to defend. That being said, there is a tank on the way. And mules are mining, but there's no SCVs, and 15 probes, I think, is just too many. He does depower the production. That gateway gets repowered, though, on the third. Zest, you wily bastard. He truly does level up when he's playing from behind, doesn't he? He truly does level up when he's playing from behind. The missile turret's actually a nice little defensive tool here. Keeps the prism back. Oh, pull back. No, I think I think Uthermal's got to run. Run! Run! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Zest. 32 kill Archon. A uh, bunch of stalkers. The prism there. The Archon actually dies to that siege tank. Wow. Kills, kills the Archon finally. The Archon went down, but he was an absolute Protoss war hero. What a Chad gamer.